tell you everything I've seen the Friends I made and then you tell me how you've been Look a little closer, it's been quite some time But you gotta let me know if I'm out of line What I do, uh, because I do these adventures all year long, and I typically uh, do them here in the Northeast, uh, not always, but typically, uh, and we have four seasons, so now we are, well, I think we're past the uh, peak of the autumn of leaf color season and we're getting into we're actually having some 20 in temperatures in the 20s overnight and so your rig has to be outfitted for maintaining you know I don't winterize the Geo Pro and I don't uh, uh, dry camp you know still doing the hot showers still doing the water and all that kind of stuff uh, and uh, you know, uh, the uh, toilet facilities and all. Uh, so you need to have different uh, equipment and redundancies in that equipment. So for heating, obviously the Geo Pro has uh, a central heating system. So it's, you know, it's propane based. Uh, I just filled up, uh, I have two 20 pound tanks, so 40 pounds there and uh, uh, I have, uh, uh, that, that does wonders the, 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 the heat, I think the heater in this thing is like, a I don't know, 50, 60,000 BTUs, which is just, it's like killing a flea with an elephant gun. It's the same heater that, uh, Rockwood puts in the, uh, the larger, uh, uh, travel trailers they make anyway. Um, but what if I run out of propane? What if you know, something goes wrong with the heater, uh, you know, or, or if I don't have power, you know, I run out of this, it rains for a week and I don't have, uh, uh, my, uh, my power stations are all dead. We'll talk about power in another video, but, uh, you know, I can't run the fan on the heater. So I, uh, I use a, uh, an Olympian Wave 3. It's a uh, uh, catalytic um, heater. It's a safety heater. It, you know, if you look at it the wrong way, it turns off. <laughs> Not really, but you, you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, and I have a separate um, 10 pound cylinder of propane for this heater and other emergency uses should I run out of propane on the tongue and all that kind of stuff. So uh, what I'm going to do here is do the uh, seasonal check on this thing and make sure that she's still working and pretty, pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, there's other brands as well. I'm not, I, I chose this because it, it seemed to have the best, uh, in my YouTube research, it seemed to have the best, uh, reviews and I like the way it, it operates. It's also, uh, uh, just, uh, looks better. It's a better shape than some of the others like the buddy here and so on. Uh, it's a personal preference, but you can use a buddy heater. There's, there's other brands as well. And all I'm going to do is set this cover up. Now, what I don't have out, but I should, is I'm outdoors. So that's the other thing. I test this stuff outside before I bring it in. And uh, hi, Stella. <laughs> She's down there just making trouble. So I just hand tighten it very well. Um, and we'll open up. Now I do have a regular, uh, uh, one of these, uh, 
dial, you know, it, it, I don't know how well these work. On my tongue uh, tanks, the 40 pounds that's on the tongue, each of those tanks has a, a, a one of those readers, uh, son, sonar readers, and they work great. Uh, the dial in, in I, all I do is push a button in the GeoPro and it shows me each tank and what, what's in it. And that works great. I'm not so, I hear these things don't work very well. I, I rarely use it, but I know this is full. So, Some good heat out of that. Of course, we're standing out here in the uh, in the uh, cool air. But um, yeah, it's as simple as a tank of propane, a uh, catalytic heater of any brand. And this is backup. Now, <clears throat> like I said, the advantage to having this besides peace of mind is it will uh, not take any power. As long as you have propane, you're good. Um, it's got a uh, uh, piezo uh, igniter, so it doesn't take any kind of electric or whatever. And it's a... Uh, catalytic heater so it throws the heat without any noise you're not going to hear the blower you're not going to hear uh anything like that uh, it's just radiating heat and you know there are disadvantages um one of which is uh condensation uh, you know propane heat uh that's not exhausted because this this is not a, you know you got to cut i mean it's clean but you could, uh, you know, you should never use this in a closed environment without cracking a window or a, um, I crack the, uh, max air fan vent, uh, and it, it works fine. Uh, so, and the other thing is in a really cold situation, um, you can, skirt the bottom of your rig and now I'm, I'm, I'm speaking like you're using an overlanding trailer but you could do that i could skirt the bottom of the geo pro and run this underneath it underneath the geo pro and keep the tanks warm and this and that now my tanks have tank heaters so but if i don't want to use the electricity you know 12 volt takes uh, those heaters take some juice um if I, again, if I'm not, if I'm low on solar, uh, for whatever reason. So having the redundancy to do the overlanding, do the boondock camping, um, off grid throughout the year in the, in, in the four seasons where you have, you know, a cold winter like here in, uh, South Jersey or in New England or, you know, wherever, uh, this is this is a really good thing to have so just my two cents okay so uh we're using the wave three here the uh um i've set it up in here inside the uh geo pro and it's really doing a good job um uh, not using the uh the onboard heater uh which means i'm saving uh power because the fan blowing 
um, and uh, you know the, the 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 electricity, the twelve volt use uh, fan. The fan uses twelve volt, so I'm eliminating that. Uh, I'm going to remain off my. Uh, I'm going to remain on the tongue batteries. Uh, they are at right now. They are at. Hello. <laughs> 85%. So I think that'll last through the night because really the only nominal thing they're doing is, uh, you know, there's a four watt draw for things like the, uh, uh, CO2 monitor and the fire alarm and, you know, so, things like that, the converter. Uh, but, uh, the fan for the heater won't be going on. The other thing is the Wave 3 or a, uh, uh, a heater just like it um, do not have a fan. So they're, uh, they're quiet. Anyway, uh, let me flip this around. Now you can see the setup. You see the... Uh, you don't hear anything, and I've got my uh, 11, uh, I'm sorry, my 10 pound propane tank I brought it in, uh, into the uh, trailer, and it's, you know, the catalytic type of heater does not, it radiates heat, it does not blow heat so but here's here's i mean here's the bottom line right here uh stella and i just came in from her walk exterior 34 degrees okay interior whoops <laughs> interior 61 degrees so we're approaching a 30 degree differential. And that's the only heat source is that catalytic heater. So, um, again, that's what I do. That's what I'm using. Uh, just to give you an idea of how I overland, how I, um, work out uh, the redundancies and such um, the wave 3 is perfectly capable of of producing almost a, a 25 to 30 degree differential inside the GeoPro uh, just by itself and you just saw that on the uh, on the meter here so uh, uh, that's, that's a good, I think that's a very decent return. I don't like to keep it over 60 degrees, uh, in here in the GeoPro, uh, when I'm camping, uh, overnight. We have a quilt, we have our, oops, our bunk is set up here. Uh, lights went out. <laughs> They're on a timer, uh, some sort of timer or whatever. Um, nonetheless, there's her, but we call him Mishu, which is uh, in Russian or uh, Eastern uh, European, that's bear. And there's her bed, uh, which of course is empty because she is, go oh look, she's checking out the, uh, the heater. Oh, oh wow, she went in her bed. How about that? Hi Stella. You staying warm? Nice and warm in here, huh? Yes? She's checking. She hid. I gave her a bunch of toys. And she hid them. Uh, she. Oh, there's one. That's Foxy. And there's others. There's there's others in there. She, she's she got Mishu here. There's Foxy. And um, her sister Jill gave her Foxy just the other day for her birthday. And a couple of, uh, several other toys as well. What are you doing? Huh? 
Yeah. And she she hid the rest of them, or some of them, under her... I guess that's the terrier thing. You know, the Jack Russell. She, you see where she's going? She's got some un, under there, too. And there's... Right here is her drumstick. A little chicken drumstick toy. Anyway. Okay, so... There you have the results of the... Uh, of the backup heater perfectly capable of bringing it now if we're down in the 20s or we're down in the teens or in the single digits this uh, this wave 3 becomes a backup or auxiliary heater to the central system there's the outlet there's the burner and, and the fan and such are right there and exhausted and then here is the thermostat so i just i have the thermostat off now just using the wave three and that's the results oh. okay so it's uh the next morning let's see how the uh wave three did overnight uh it was really comfortable in here uh so it's now what 7 20 a.m and if we go over here there you go 28 degrees outside 62 degrees inside and the oops <laughs> interesting thing is we, we're 20 points down in the humidity inside as well so uh that's that's good and there it is over there see the tank i just stood it over there we'll put it outside as soon as we go out for our morning walk and uh so if you don't want to use the central heat good backup system in fact it it works great